everybody, and welcome again to Faith on Friday Extra. This series is all about highlighting people, topics, and businesses that I know you will find inspiring, engaging, and interesting. And I'm your host, Ricky Smith. So today we're going to talk about health issues. Now, a lot of people, we see so many commercials on TV about every new drug that's come out, and please do not name your child Linzess. But today we're going to talk about MS multiple sclerosis. And I want to introduce you to someone who's actually dealing with the disease. Her name is Regina Johnson. Hello, Regina. Hi. <laughs> Regina, thank you so much for joining us and talking about this very important topic. So no first of all, I just want to ask you this. How old were you when you were diagnosed with MS? 32 years old. 32. And how long have you been dealing with it then? Um, well, you're born with it, so I got diagnosed at 32, wow. but it's been about 13 years now. Wait, you're, yeah. you're actually born with MS? Yes. Okay, Correct. So, so like the MS, the, like the disease is within you, or is that considered like a birth defect? No, it's within you. Like, oh, okay. kind of like cancer, you just, do you find it? You don't know mm -hmm. if you have it. Or not. Now, has anybody yeah. else in your family had um, MS? My father, my first cousin on his side, a couple of people on his side of the yeah. family, yes. Wow. Now, is it something that you, is it hereditary as well, do you think? Or is it just? They, they say it's not, but it evidently it is. It um, can be. It's, it's worse if it's like that. If someone in your family has it, then mm -hmm. nine times out of ten, you're going to have it worse. Wow, yeah. that's crazy. So now I understand that multiple sclerosis is basically your immune system eating away at the lining of the nerves in your body. With that being yes. said, what kind of symptoms do you have? Well, I've never been sick growing up um, or anything like that. I never got sick. Like everyone around me could be sick, but now my symptoms are just like pain. I lose my eyesight. I can't really use my limbs, so mm -hmm. like writing and stuff is difficult, walking, mm -hmm. um, just different pins and needles all day long in your body, mm -hmm. in your whole body, so it's immense pain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's crazy. Wow, are you like, are you literally in pain all the time? Yes, ma'am. Right now that we're speaking, I am. <laughs> are you really? Regina, I'm it so is. sorry. That's so horrible to hear. Now, with, I, now I understand also that multiple sclerosis, there is no cure for it. That's correct. No cure. So you just treat the symptoms. Yeah, you're treating the symptoms. So with that being said, what kind of treatments are you on right now? Um, I'm on DMT, which is a disease modifying therapy. Mm -hmm. um, and what it is, is it's illness because in crazy my disease is the problem is I don't get sick so we mm -hmm. want to introduce sickness to me so I inject the flu measles mumps rubella and something else mm -hmm. in one shot three times a week so it's a, an injection that I do wow so you yeah. wait you're giving yourself these diseases and what is that Correct. supposed to do I mean it's, doesn't it make it gives, you sick it does make you sick, but it gives my disease something to play with. So oh, it gives it something to fight off instead of eating at my brain or my spinal cord. I see, I see. Wow. Yeah. So you so literally kind of have to feed the monster. Exactly. Oh my gosh. Yes. So now I know you said sometimes walking can be tough. Now, and yes. I know that you have fallen down yes. a couple times. So how, have you been hurt by your falling or is it more just the disease process and you can't control yourself? Um, both, both, I want to yeah. say. Yeah. I have physically hurt myself, you know, bodily damage, like mm -hmm. cuts and scars and stuff, oh, you know. Wow. Um, but as far as me hurting myself, I don't know because I didn't want to go to the doctor like my neck <laughs> stuff like that hard headed right. mm -hmm. but um you know yeah you do what you can 
You pray right. about it, you move on. That that's exactly it. You just gotta pray about it. Like I said, because yeah. there is no cure, what happens? How does this disease progress? Um, right now I'm in a secondary progressive MS, which is like the last stage before the last stage, meaning you will be debilitated and I can't do anything. Like mm -hmm. there's nothing, but I try to exercise every day and stuff like right, that. But right. um, the end game is the simplest function, like you might aspirate um, mm -hmm. on your own bodily fluids or uh, oh, wow. can't swallow, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. uh, infection, like a bladder infection could kill you. It's, it's yeah, that's, that's the tough. end end game, yeah. Yeah. So you have to be careful with stuff like that. But I'm for sure. the most part, you don't get sick. Mm -hmm. Never. Wow. Well, Never, ever. I guess so. So, you know, if, if do you deal with other people that have MS or are you one of those folks, God help you, that try to do this on your own? Um, I have a group uh, oh, that we we speak to each other and everyone's on different levels like sure. there's one particular lady that i know personally mm -hmm. and she is an amputee so she has she has diabetes as well mm -hmm. so she didn't have a limb mm -hmm. both her her legs are gone right. and she's a little younger than i karen knows her too mm -hmm. we used to work together matter of fact mm -hmm. um, yeah. but i talked to her and she is the head of that group and okay. so she does like meetings once a mm -hmm. month and mm -hmm. fundraisers and stuff so yeah yeah how does that help out uh it helps for research help me or help like them well no foundation. how does it help you i mean somebody that's struggling with the disease how does that group help you um it helps to just have a voice and talk about different things mm -hmm. and she is a good resource for information as far yeah. as like getting cooling vests there's different things they have that mm -hmm. can help you because we mm -hmm. live in texas as you well. yeah <laughs> um so things like that air conditioning mm -hmm. uh okay. accessible homes so you can even get like a home loan to the ms people oh wow yeah that's it stuff like that yeah mm -hmm. for a handicap house you know yeah. stuff like that so okay so it's helpful for resources <laughs> How do yes. you keep yourself upbeat, Regina? Because I can imagine that some days are not really easy. I I do audible. Okay. Um, I try to do self help book. I love reading, but my eyesight is really bad because of the MS. Mm -hmm. I have twenty twenty, but I don't. Mm -hmm. So I do the audible because what choice do I have? Mm -hmm. And I exercise, I do my PT during the day. Mm -hmm. um, I try to keep busy, just little housework here and there. Right. So I was yeah. a very active person before. I loved to cook, I loved mm -hmm. to, you know, but I, mm -hmm. some of those things I can't do. So, right. I was going to ask you what other things have changed for you? You know, like you said, you used to be super active and this and that and the other. And it sounds like you're still doing some things. But what what's kind of what is the biggest thing that has changed that you miss now? That I miss? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I've changed some bad habits, so I don't okay. particularly miss that. <laughs> um, I used to be a cigarette smoker, and mm -hmm. it's been a, a year and four months now. Yeah, so that that's you. a great thing. Mm -hmm. um, but I do miss singing. I used to be a big karaoke buff, mm -hmm. and I have equipment for that. Mm -hmm. But since I have my spinal surgery, my voice, oh, you see my scar here. Right. They had to move my vocal cords. So I don't know if I oh, just wow. have to practice and mm -hmm. get my voice back stronger. Or they mm -hmm. did tell me that my voice would change a tad. So yeah. Oh, wow. I'm kind of bothered by that, but oh, well. Mm -hmm. So the whole Can't singing, the karaoke singing career is on yeah. hold right now till you pull it together <laughs> correct <laughs> how's your family with this because you know so many people that go through some of these later on debilitating diseases you're not the only one going through it how does your family oh, yeah. help you um they don't really understand um sure. 
I can talk until I turn blue and gray in the face, but mm -hmm. sometimes they don't understand. Like, what is wrong with you? Like, I'm crazy. And I'm like, you know, it. you know, I just <laughs> think about what I got going on, but they can't yeah. see. Yeah. So I try to explain it to the best of my ability. Mm -hmm. And then I laugh about it most times. So I'll laugh at myself to not be so angry. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Does, do you get angry sometimes? From is it from the just from the disease, just being that sick? What makes you angry? The difference of what used to be and how it is. Yeah. Yeah. I think all of us yeah. deal with that in some way or another, especially as you get mm -hmm. older, there's some things oh, yeah. that you could do that you can't do anymore. And I guess when yeah. you're dealing with something as debilitating as MS, it accelerates that process. Oh that, yeah. Especially to be so young. I'm only 45. Yeah, yeah I know mm -hmm. what, you know, in thinking about this and, and, you know, you've been dealing with the disease for a while. Do you have things that, that scare you going forward? Not really. No, no, that's good. Cause I, that's I have faith and I have hope that, you know, yeah. Yeah. Even when I walk to the restroom, so I don't fall, mm -hmm. I sing, I sing to myself, mm -hmm. I say, Jesus, what's, and sometimes it's funny, but it's serious. Yeah. And I'm like, you got me. I'm not going to hurt myself, you yeah. know? So, yeah. So you keep yourself works. encouraged. Yeah, it works. So yeah. And you got to works. You got to do what helps you. So then exactly. with the, like you said, with the prognosis, not great right now, you know, only mm -hmm. today, there's no cure today. Who knows what tomorrow will bring type yeah. deal. What do you, what would you tell someone who is newly diagnosed with the, with the disease, with MS, and they're scared, they're unsure, what, what advice would you give them? They need to educate their self. Mm -hmm. um, learn as much as they can learn, but know their limitations, but know that that is not the end. Yeah. So it's not up to us, you know? That's so, so true. That is so, so true. So they have to learn and take what they can get on the internet from these different uh, doctors, from diets, natural remedies um mm -hmm. they need to use their faith to the best of their advantage like belief yeah something better will happen and yeah. it will that yeah. that that's advice for all of us hey look okay. everybody you know this conversation is important and it's serious and if you know someone that has ms or you are having you are struggling with the disease yourself remember like regina says you're not by yourself and there are resources out there hey look okay. you can always make sure to su subscribe to our youtube channel give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment we're going to make sure that regina's information is in the description as well as some other places and resources that you may be able to get help either for yourself or someone else but regina before we let you go my friend you know, we yeah. got to play our game, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So the game is called This or That. Super simple. I'm going to give you the choice of two things. And you, off the top of your head, just tell me which one you like the best. You ready to play? Go ahead. All right. Here we go. Android or iPhone? iPhone. Read the book or see the movie? Read the book. Wallflower or life of the party? Life of the party used to be. <laughs> oh, you probably <laughs> still are, girl. Summertime fun or winter wonderland? Summertime fun. Yeah. Eat to live or live to eat? Live to eat. Mm -hmm. Out in nature or rather in the house? Mm, both, I would say. Yeah. I have to say split. Okay, split. that's not bad. Coke yeah. or Pepsi? Pepsi. <laughs> You're a little too enthusiastic about that whole thing, yeah. Regina. Pepsi. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Drive the car or ride in the car? Drive. Mm. Can you still drive even at this time? Yes, just not very far. Okay. All right. Yeah. Just curious. Um, I like sports or I don't care? Uh, I like. Okay. And when you were young, Regina, what was your first job? Um, I was a dishwasher at a Dairy Queen. Yeah. Dishes at Dairy Queen? Where I, I was 
I was 13, I used to wash the trays and okay. uh, yeah, they do have dishes, pots yeah. and pans, small ones. Who knew? Yeah. Who knew? Hey, Regina, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you so You're much welcome. for talking about this extremely important issue, multiple sclerosis. I appreciate it. All right, everybody, that's thank it for you. us this time, but we will see you next time on Extra. Thank you.